Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. Hope you guys like my new Sig Sauer hat that my buddy Adam gave to me. Anyhow, we got our latest shipment from Going Gears Monthly EDC Club. Let's check it out. So as I've shared before, you got two different levels with your EDC club. You got your basic, which is gonna be at about 60 bucks. And then this one is the premium. It's about 200 bucks a month. So $199.99 is your cost. Let's look at the first item. This is from Wesson. These guys actually reached out to me not too long ago. I just didn't have time to jump in and review any of their products, but this is the Almond. It's coming in at a value of 145 bucks. Nice little box there. Comes in a nice little um, bag inspected and approved here some information there it says the care manual and then there is a sticker there as well so this is the Allman s35 vn steel let me open this up take it out of the, the bag here i'll show you what it looks like before we open it so there's that there's that side get your flipper there and it's kind of like a snub nose. There was a boker, I think it was called the Bulldog years ago, um, that looked kind of like this. This also has a very similar look to the banter that uh, Ben from formerly Blade HQ and CRKT, um, now from nafs.com, K-N-A-F-S.com. Um, very similar to that. Um, so this is a, obviously S35 yen, great steel, definitely gonna be an EDC knife. You're not gonna go out and do some batoning and aggressive work with this thing. Um, you can see got some jimping there on the uh, on the spine. That's what it looks like in hand. I have large size hands. Close it up for you again. Give you a look. There's your pocket clip. So that's going to be um, tip up right hand carry. There's your other side. 2.8 inches for your blade. They're saying when it's closed is 3.8 inches, but I think it's actually smaller smaller than that because um, I mean you see that's not a full inch beyond the edge of the blade. Anyhow, it is definitely a, uh, a compact knife. Like I said, it's got kind of a snub nose there. Enough of a tip, let's see if you can see it there, enough of a tip to pierce, but definitely not like a, you know, super like a stabby, very stabby, that's a technical knife term, not a super stabby knife. So again, valued at 145. So once again, this is the first item for your premium level of the Going Gear Monthly EDC Club. They actually send you a sheath, which we're gonna look at next. All right, so here's the sheath for your folder. You can see W-E-S-N there. You can actually drop this in your pocket. You can put it in a bag, obviously. Um, the pocket clip, if you wanted to, I guess you could run it with the, like basically this side down and then put the pocket clip over the edge. But uh, let me do that for you. But generally, you know, if you're putting it in the sheath, I would say you're probably trying to keep it in the sheath to, yeah, I mean, it's gonna stick out a little bit too far. It's a little clumsy, but I guess you could do that if you wanted to. Um, for me, I'm not a sheath guy for a folding knife almost ever, so. This is an additional option for carrying it, but uh, that's your second item. They're valuing this one at 35 bucks. Honestly, that seems expensive to me for basically two pieces of leather sewn together, but that's that's what it is. So 145 for the, uh, for the knife and 35 for that leather sheath. All right, next up, we got a sticker pack from Wesson. So there's the first sticker right there. Here's your second one. These are definitely cool stickers. There's your third one. And then your fourth one is kind of like, like it's designed out of rope. There's your last one right there. Now the stickers are cool. You get five of them, as you just saw. My beef with this is that it's ten dollars for a sticker pack. That's a lot of cash for stickers. So, okay, I'm just shooting straight with you guys. The knife I like, uh, one forty-five uh, for that, and then um, you know S thirty-five yen compact knife. I can see that ten bucks for this and thirty-five bucks for the sheath. Not so much for me. But we got a couple other items, so let's see uh, what else we got coming in this monthly monthly shipment from Going Gear. All right, next up we have this. This is from Travax. This is a company I've worked for or with for years. 20 bucks. It's a carabiner, so you got the uh, uh, actual carabiner there, and then the lanyard here to put your keys on. Um, this is pretty standard for what Travax usually charges for their different items. Still a bit much, 20 bucks for a little thing like that, but you know, uh, they do good quality workmanship made in the USA. So that, this makes a little bit more sense to me as far as the, uh, the cost. We do also have an additional knife. So let's check that out now. All right. 1095 and 15 N 20 steel layered. This is a Damascus knife from Buck and Bear. You can see that. I'll show you the B and B there on that. Let's see if you can see it right. Yeah, right there. That's their logo, and then over here, B and B as well. This thing is sharp. How do I know? Right there. If you play with tigers long enough, you're gonna get bit. So this thing, when I was taking it out of the plastic that it was wrapped in, just got me in the hand. But that is a nice 
knife. I mean, that's very pointy. It's got a cool design on the top. Um, comfortable in hand, again, large size hands for me. Um, I'm gonna be using that knife less like this probably and more like this. And so you got a little kind of cut out here. Obviously comes razor sharp as I've already stabbed myself with it, unfortunately. Nice deep carry for the uh, leather sheath there. $99 value for that. So like $99 plus the other knife is $145. So you're at, you know, $245, bucks, 244 dollars right there. That's That to me is like a lot of value and then you're paying 199 so you're getting more than what you're paying so we got olive wood handles on this brass pins i really like that blade um i got a, a knife sort of similar to this from battle box recently i uh, like a puko style um but this one is very similar to it i like the look of it i got a buddy who's getting into the outdoor who's in the outdoors but i don't know if he has a good fixed blade so i may pass this on to him we'll see it's a full tang knife and the sheath is nice what that looks like again all right so some thoughts on this month's box um what i'll tell you is that you know your value when you add it up is right about 300 bucks and you're paying 200 bucks so you're getting more than what you're paying obviously and a significant a significant amount more um i would say this is a good value box um based on the items i do think like i said the stickers the sheath and the Travax thing. The Travax a little bit less, but the stickers and the sheath, I just feel like are overvalued for what you're getting. I just, that's me personally, but I wouldn't pay 10 bucks for five stickers. Um, a, that small, and B, just from one company. I'd like to diversify a little bit. That's me. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I still do like this idea of the, uh, you know, the monthly EDC club. Um, I don't pay for them to send this to me. They send it to me for free to review. If I was gonna invest, um, my budget would allow me to do something closer to the basic level, not the premium level but you gotta figure out what works for you. And as always, you know, what we're trying to figure out if we're purchasing these things is, are we okay with somebody else buying an item for me versus me investing the money and buying it myself? One thing I do like about this and BattleBox and other monthly subscriptions is checking out new gear that I didn't know about or I wouldn't know about as a, a gear reviewer or as just, you know, a guy who likes the outdoors, EDC survival. Um, it's always cool to see these new items. So let's hear your thoughts on these blades, on the items in this box. What do you think? Anyhow, let's get that discussion started now. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And uh, each month, you know, we'll be letting you know more and more uh, in the days to come about the different gear that we get, that we use, and what we think about the different items that they send us. And uh, as I always say, I don't have a chance to review every single piece of gear when I get these monthly subscription boxes. I've just got other videos I'm working on. So this is more of an overview to let you know what comes in each box. So anyhow, let's get the conversation started in the comment section now. All right, guys, thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Bureau as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.